Hi everybody, so our rocket stoves, they are pretty awesome with only one drawback. They're difficult to use inside because of the requirement for a chimney. Dead simple to build, dead simple to use, but you kind of need to use them outside. And I was thinking, how could we make it so that we could bring that heat inside? And there's loads of good suggestions. One would be a copper coil that like Luke did and then just run that into a water heater or maybe around your house. But of course, you've got to do quite a lot of work and I'm always searching for a simple solution. And this one was suggested to me by a mate of mine called GS. He's a regular poster, you'll recognise him. And what he suggested was this. OK, my rocket stove, giving out loads of heat, can't use it inside because of the smoke. However, in video 1760, we made that thing a Dutch stove. Inside the stove is this, which we made an electrical element, but it is just a lump of stone. So stick that on there. Pretty quickly, that's going to get hot. When it's hot, gloves. Back in the stove. Take that inside, stick your feet on it, you're going to be warm and toasty. So that's how you use a rocket stove inside. You can do that with anything. I use that because it's a lump of stone, brick, sand, anything will do. And you can use a rocket stove to heat your inside without actually having the rocket stove inside. Now, depending how long you leave that stone, how hot it gets, what kind of thing you use, like I say, you could use a brick or sand or whatever it is, that is going to keep you pretty toasty for quite a long time, actually. And I thought it was genius in its absolute simplicity. So it's something that everybody could do. Of course, we're still looking at that kind of thing, what we might do with it, maybe more complex solutions, but certainly there's a straightforward, ultra simple way of getting the heat from a rocket stove so you can use that heat inside. I thought that was genius. And thank you very much, DS, for doing that. That was an awesome suggestion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.